The Packers have played their four quarters. Now it's time for the fifth quarter. You guys got back to work today, Cantrell, and uh, Mike McCarthy said it was a self-improvement day. Uh, the uh, you know meetings, uh, you know, get back at it. And the across-the-hall meetings uh, where you guys went up with the receivers, David uh, Rye? Quarterbacks. You were the quarterbacks. Yes. So it was the corners and the receivers. Yes. And you were the quarterbacks. Yes. How did that go? Very serious meeting, but was uh, it? Yeah, you know, uh, it, you have to be more serious in those in those settings and those meetings, uh, just simply because those are two pivotal positions are key, and you have to talk to everyone on the field, and you have to know everything on the field. You have so, got to know, yeah, yeah. The quarterbacks got to know what all ten are doing. You have yeah. got to know what all ten are doing. Yes. Is it? Did it ever get to the uncomfortable level? No. I mean, was it? I know that there was a lot of back and forth. Mm -hmm. Here's what you're doing well. Here's how they're you're getting attacked. Yes. Right. And here's how we can confuse quarterbacks and those guys. Mm -hmm. Does it get pointed? It must. I mean, you have to be very honest and blunt about your observations of the other side, right? Oh yeah, they they, they are, uh, and they show us things uh, to how we can get better with certain things, and they show and we tell them how they can get better with certain things. You know, uh, they tell us how what certain concepts will attack the safeties and put us in stress positions. Versus we'll tell them uh, their tendencies on offense, like if Devontae is lined up to one side, what happens, or, if, you know, certain things like that. So this is how we how, get a beat How to place. avoid rolling? Yes. Because there, there have been a couple of occasions where you were kind of caught in no man's land yeah. you know, this season. So he, he, Aaron and, and Deshaun and Tim and, uh, you, know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Frank are giving you tips on how to handle that a little better. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the couple of plays that I was caught in, we, they were – the calls that were called were to beat that coverage. So okay. I was kind of in it. I was in the that's position that really I had to, yeah. Stink, man. That's but, good. you know, it's a part of the game. I so know. I, gotta, I, I know. just got to make the play somehow. That's what a lot of fans don't realize is that the defensive call sometimes is just yeah, it's not, not the right perfect. call it for won't be what perfect they every time. run on the other side of the ball. It, that's just football. Yeah, it won't be perfect every time, but 99% of the time we're getting out the, the, the best calls. And, but if we're not in the best call, we have to make it to it. The way we're in the best call. So either way it go, we have to be right. You see what I'm saying? True. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. good to be wrong. So what kind of things did you impress upon the quarterbacks? Uh, we just basically uh, kind of showed them their tendencies, where they threw the ball more to each side of the fields and, and things like that, just to get a get a feel for things and show them uh, what they could improve on and, you know, get a – throw a uh, defense off track to where they couldn't read what they were doing and things like that. I, I could see where that would really be beneficial and – you could take that kind of conversation to the field with a young quarterback. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't developed uh, enough experience uh, to go off primary, secondary, third or fourth reads, you know, and move safeties with his eyes and with mm -hmm. his pumps and things like that. Josh Allen, a good example. He looked lost. He really did look lost in that Buffalo game. Can't comment on that one. Huh? Cannot comment on that one. All right. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and even – Trubisky to some extent, but now you're going to see another young guy in Goff who's got a very motion-driven offense. Mm -hmm. They're going to try and get you moving, Yeah, and that's going to require some real discipline. Yeah. I think it will. Like <laughs> you know, I said, you, you yeah. have to have some great discipline, eye discipline, and everything like that just to make sure you focus on your keys. Well, Tremont said that same thing. Yeah, too. you got to have eye discipline. Yeah, eye discipline. Yeah, because if, if you take your eyes off your man for a split second, he might be going the opposite direction, and you might have thought he was blocking, and it might be touchdown. And that's like, just not quarter, eyes on the quarterback discipline. That's eyes know. on everybody coming at you discipline. That's a good point.